This video is sponsored by Classic Football Shirts, the best place to get your classic and vintage football shirts. To get cheap retro palace shirts, click the link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the Equals of Palace TV YouTube channel. I'm Foster Greenberg and today I'm bringing you a preview to this weekend's game against Tottenham at Wembley. Spurs will hope to use the momentum from their unbelievable 3-1 demolishment of Real Madrid to sweep aside rock bottom Palace. Mocho Pochettino's side were in sumptuous form against the Champions League holders, as goals from Deli Alli and Christian Eriksen sealed a famous win. In the Premier League, they suffered a setback with a 1-0 loss to Manchester United, but are still within striking distance of the top two. Palace, on the other hand, remain rooted to the foot of the division, but will be boosted after Wilfred Zaha's late equaliser in the 2-2 draw with West Ham. In regards to team news, Mamadou Sakho and James McArthur, who both missed last Saturday's draw against West Ham United for injury, have both trained on Friday and Roy Hodgson is expecting them to be available for selection at Wembley. Pancho Venano, who had to leave the field early last Saturday, is showing good signs of recovery, while Christian Menteke should return to training during the international break. Along with Conor Wickham, both Chung Ng Lee and Soli Kai Kai are both unavailable. Roy Hodgson's pre-match press conference is now available to watch on the channel. Click the i button now. In other news, Wilfred Zaha has been voted the Man Matex Player of the Month for October, following votes received from the club's Twitter channel. Wilfred has scored two goals since his return from injury and also won the Man of the Match awards for his performances against Chelsea and West Ham. Congratulations to Wilf, who received his trophy at Cooper's Cope on Wednesday afternoon. In terms of my predicted lineup, I've gone with Julian Sproni in goal, with a back four of Jeffrey Slap at left back, two centre halves of James Tompkins and Scott Dan, with Timothy Fossi Mensa at right back. In the midfield, I've gone with Luka Milivojevic and Johan Kabai just in front of the defence, while Ruben Loftus-Cheek will play in a more advanced role. And in my front three, I've gone with Andros Townsend and Wilfred Zaha on the two wings, with Bakary Sacco at striker. Don't forget to check out and download my weekly match review podcast later in the week for all this weekend's reaction. So thanks for watching, I hope you all have a good weekend, and hopefully Palace will bring back all three points. All that's left for me to say is, remember to, up the Palace!